Hey there, paper crafters. We are back at the Sierra Pacific Crafts event in Salt Lake City, July 2015. And we're back here with Anna at the Prima Marketing booth. And she's going to walk us through all the different mixed media products that she's come up with. Uh, we, we realize that a lot of people are just getting started and there's a whole lot of really great products, but sometimes it can be a little confusing about when to use which ones. And our hope is that we'll dispel any kind of uh, uh, misinformation you might have gotten <laughs> or uh, have a little bit better understanding of what's available and how many cool effects you can achieve with them. So take it away. Hi lovely people, I'm here in Prima booth uh, with my Art Basics, Art Ingredients and Art Extravagance line and I will just uh, try to explain what are the differences between these. So, um, looking at the Art Basics, this is uh, the line I like to describe like minimum products to get maximum effects, very good for start because these are very multi-purpose and they will help you to create your custom effects too. So we've got, first of all, if you look at the labels, they're having different colors just to make it more user-friendly and remember uh, what products you are using. I know that we are mostly uh, visual people, so if you look here, there are two pastes uh, coming in the art basics, so light paste and modeling paste. and. I have here the example of paste after drying, you can see it's on the black background, uh, this is orange, so uh, modeling paste dries white and if you look at any brand of the paste I would ex expect them to dry with the color because paste has usually some kind of the color. So to, to show you the difference between these two, light paste is more like marshmallow effect, very airy and spongy, great for snowflake effects great for playing uh, with the dimensions and of course dries permanent and white and the uh, other one that I have here it's heavier in body very very dimensional too and um, having more like bubblegum finish and these two can be of course customized by adding some colors into it or some grains into it so you can create the coarse uh, finish of your uh, paste if you would like to and I will tell more about what you can put inside in a moment so and do both of those come in glossy and matte no these are just opaque which okay. means they are going to be opaque matte and opaque matte uh, We've got glossy and matte in different products, and this is called gel, right? So um, I don't have the matte version of the soft gel, but you can see there's different color code on these. So soft gloss gel and the 3D gloss gel, they're having the blue labels. Soft has the softer color, which is baby blue, and the solid blue will be 3D, so dimensional one. The same, uh, in the same uh, story applies to 3D matte gel and there will be a soft matte gel in the baby purple color. So to show you these ones, 3D gloss gel is the one with the body, okay? And this has gloss finishing and dries transparent. So it's almost dry here. You can see the difference between the paste and the gel. And um, this one is the matte version. So it will dry transparent, but with a matte finish. So basically they're very similar. The only difference is uh, the final finish. And if you look at the soft gel, you can see the difference. Soft gel is liquid medium. So this one, these ones are great for applying with the palette knives of different kinds. They're great for working with stencils. When the soft gel is great for brushing. It's multi-medium that is liquid. Uh, it may be used as varnish, it may be used as resist effect, it may be used for making custom mixes, of course. It's also great for transferring and uh, simply uh, sealing your project in the end. So, what you can do with these to make them special? Because now they are very simple, but I came with the idea to make it more fun. You can put different products inside, which are called uh, art ingredients, and add color or uh, special effects inside. And we've got different ones and you can see also they have different labels just to make the differences more visible so we came with some colorful effects this is an example of mica powders we just added a couple of the new mica powders to the line it's a super shiny mica uh, with this uh, metallic finish and you can mix it in any of these products to get this uh, custom uh, effect so in the paste the color will be slightly lighter more whitish in the gels so for example these ones right 
the color will be totally uh, um, shiny and copper as it is in the jar because these dry clear after drying so the easiest way to make some custom mix you can if you want dimensional version like dimensional copper paste you will just mix I just make a little mix for you here on the lid yeah I just try to go through it oh ho, ho. well it's going to be very intense copper sorry <laughs> And then once you try to mix it in, it starts to turn into permanent, after drying, dimensional paste. I'll just show you quickly, that you can apply through the stencil. You can work with it and after drying, all the shiny effect will be visible. This, yeah, and so easy to do. It's like two seconds and it's mixed. Yeah, so I just put it back to make some space. And because they are water-based, when they are wet, you can clean uh, everything quite quickly just using baby wipes or water. So when you have your stencils or palette knives dirty, just try to keep them uh, clean um, so you won't have any problems with peeling the strips of the gel later. So it's not complicated at all. If you put the same color in the liquid version, you create some kind of paint. It's going to be, for example, effects like this. You can just brush it on the top of something dimensional and it creates beautiful metallic finish. Uh, the other ones that are having different grain finish, so micro beads. So these are really cool little beads and they're so fun to add, which not only give you the beautiful color but also great texture in your gel or paste. Oops, here. Yeah. We've got um, glass glitter. Again, the same story, you can just add it in or sprinkle that on the top very beautiful shiny with this different glass finishing it's not exactly a regular glitter mica flakes of different kinds you can see different kind of uh, effect again you could nice colors to choose from so they can be mixed in or sprinkled on the top and then we've got some glass beads which are bigger like the bigger brothers of the micro beads in very nice colors so that is the group that you can mix inside of the gels to create custom effects and just to show you what happens after drying I've got I made before the mix of the 3d gloss gel and some of the micro beads and I created a paste and this is the paste that um, here is uh, totally dry there are black micro beads in a clear 3d gloss gel and this is the gloss gel after drying as it is from the jar and this is the effect that was done with the 3d beads inside so very easy to make you just need a small container mix it in. you have your own favorite effect you can combine color and grain inside if you want to of course so these are the effects you can do with art ingredients mixed into uh, art basics and of course we have some beautiful glitters so if you would like to make some your own glitter paste this is the same technique you just take the base for example the 3d gloss gel mix it in make it really nice and saturated then apply it to the stencil and this is totally permanent effect which means nobody will rub off your glitter from your project because it's going to be inside of your gel so you don't need to seal that no it's going okay. to be sealed just by putting that inside of the gel uh, you can of course sprinkle that on the top of, uh, of the gel when it's applied but it's not that permanent so my favorite way is in fact mixing that inside creating your customized like, glitter paste and then applying it and drying so this is like the safest way of using glitters without any extra flaky effects and the last group of the products uh, we came with are different kind of and texture paste ready to apply which are called art extravagance and these are for those of you who would like to just open the jar and without any mixing just get the effect on your project so we've got different kind of crackle pastes in metallic white and clear and we've got sand paste uh, in different colors so I'll just have here the finished effect so this is the example of the texture paste called black sand it's very grainy you can see the real sand in it that is the example of the white sand which is just literally sand from the sandbox color 
and one of my favorites called graphite which looks like sparkly black with the beautiful um, delicate coarse finish and these are just um, uh, ready to apply you don't have to mix anything to get this effect and just to show you examples of different crackles that is clear crackle that is platinum silver copper white which is only one that is matte finish and looks totally like peeled paint from the wall and gold so these are the effects we've got and as a last finish we've got two uh, three different kind of gesso so just to show you the body of the gesso uh, which is great uh, add-on to the art basics um, they're primers but also great to repaint colors you can see it's very heavy body black gesso the same applies to our white gesso it's closed probably I didn't use it yet you can see it's sealed they may be even used with stencils if you really like to if you feel it's a little bit too heavy you can always water it down a little bit for your painting I just apply it as it is it's super creamy very highly pigmented and the third product we don't have here but it's also the third in the family of gesso it's clear gesso which is just perfect for adding matte finish uh, to your pages it doesn't change the color of your paper it doesn't change the color of your embellishment and just adds this matte tooth so it makes every kind of repainting or spraying much easier so that will be our uh, art basics art extravagance and art ingredients lines and I'm very happy that you are here with us and thank you so much for your attention. Thanks Anna. And if people want to find out more information about you or find your videos, uh, where would they go? The best way is just to find my blog, which is finavar.com. So you just type my nickname, uh, my brand name in Google. The first thing that comes out is the blog. And we've got um, a lot of tutorials twice a week. There are my design team, people working very hard. Mondays and Fridays, they have every time new tutorial for you, step-by-step -step photos or videos. And there we all we all have the source of information about the product on the top of the page. There are little tabs called Art Basics, Art Extravagance. Just click, see what is inside. There's also a tab with the videos, and you may see a lot of these explained step by step. And of course, if you'd like to see the um, information about my classes, there's also a tab about live classes, so you can see where you can meet me in the, um, in real life and try to take a class. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming here. Thank you so much for sharing that. Let's take one more look at some of the fun little projects that Anna's done. And this is an example of some of the classes that she teaches and that some of the lucky retailers got to take yesterday. So if you, uh, if you have a local retailer who uh, carries these products, uh, be sure to go by and uh, pick up a few to try out and if your local retailer does not carry them you might want to suggest that they do thanks for joining us